welcome to the third episode of Sports Five. Um, uh, excuse me, just fiving. It's been it's been a couple months since I did this series, but I'm, I'm glad to bring it back with another one of my friends from the WRC Sports Department, um, Tyler Levy. Um, yeah, we've known each other for a little while. Obviously, you're part of the the ride squad. Um, as well, I've been a member of the marching band a couple of seasons before I kind of switched over to to doing WRC uh, full time. Um, so I, I just had my football broadcast debut with the Ohio State game. Um, I know it's, it's very cool. exciting. You know, against uh, couldn't have picked a better debut game. I mean, I know against the number one team. You know, if we won that, it would have been something. But uh, yeah, a debut against the number one team on uh, only only the best. Yeah, something only only the Rizzler gets that kind of yeah, privilege, absolutely. I guess. But. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, and I just I saw that you just did your first um um basketball game too. Actually, I so did. I did. Cool experience. I did. It was very exciting. I did it with Josh. Um, you know, I called one baseball game last year. Uh, I mean, I was only a freshman, so mm-hmm. understandable. First full year with RSU now, so I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, you know, I did one baseball game last year. It was fun, but uh, Josh has done a lot of lacrosse, a lot of soccer, a lot of baseball, but he's never done basketball before. Right. Uh, so both of us to have our first basketball call together, and I'm, I'm very close with Josh. He's in the right squad as well. Yeah. So I've known Actually, him my time yeah. here at RSU, but uh, it was exciting. It was very exciting. Um, I enjoyed it. It was a lot of fun. Uh, just, you know, it. I've always dreamed of doing this, you know, so to be mm-hmm. able to you know, do it and not just feel, do yeah. it for a video game. Just not do it for a video game to, to my dad or just with my family watching game on TV, do it like for real. For real, right? Yeah. Was, it's, yeah. it's an experience and, and I, exactly. I loved every second of it. I don't I didn't care the team lost by 20 some odd. I mean, usually I'd be pretty upset, but I was just enjoying the first call and, and I was loving every second of it and it was a lot of fun and uh, I'm, I'm totally looking forward to doing more and uh, more basketball, more baseball, getting to some football next year. I'm uh, yeah. I'm really stoked and, and very happy that I'm with WSU and very pleased in how I do it myself. And with that said, I'm I'm still looking to go. So, you know, with each call, keep getting better. Um, it's something I want to do professionally one day, hopefully, uh, you know, God willing. And, you know, I always got to keep getting better because uh, I want to be, you know, the best of the best. So, exactly. you know, uh, but it's, it was a lot of fun to do my first call and to do it with Josh and you know him and I have a good dynamic, great chemistry. You know, when I found out I was doing with him, I'm like, yo, this is crazy. And we just kept rattling off each other back and forth, making a lot of jokes. You know, we kept it mm-hmm. upbeat. Uh, during one of the TV timeouts, they were playing basket. The band was playing Basket Case by Green Day. And uh, we were uh, singing, yeah. not on air, but back in the studio, you could hear the two of us singing and, and going crazy and just, just nice. all around vibe having fun, you know, uh, I thought I'd be a little bit more nervous than I was, but I was very comfortable, which I think is a good sign. Yeah, no, that's that's really cool to hear. I mean, I've I've kind of had the same like dreams as a kid of being like a play-by-play announcer of some sort. Um, for you know either like a, like a a team or like nationally or like, and I you know it's kind of cool to take my first step towards that. And it seems like you know you had the same experience. I mean, it's. WRC has been a lot of fun. Like, I mean, between that and then doing crews, I've, I feel like I've been blessed to be part of some of the best crews, like the Friday crew from last spring or the Tuesday crew before that, the summer crews. Like, me and you did a lot of crews by yeah, ourselves. Yeah, we awesome. had a lot of things, yeah. just the two of us this summer. Yeah. Every Pretty much every Wednesday and Friday would just be the two of us somehow. Yeah, and, pretty much, because we're always, like, around, I guess. So, yeah, and it was a lot yeah, of it fun. Kind of worked out. It yeah, was. We had, like, two-hour shows, but they, we were able to keep it going, even if it was just the two of us. So Absolutely. All yeah. about the banter and the joking. And then and, and that's what, you know. I, exactly. You know, I, I just saw some family for over Thanksgiving, and uh, my uncle told me, uh, and my aunt told me, too. But one of the first things my uncle said was, was that, like, you're pretty funny. Uh, when you do the call, I'm like, huh? He's like, you know, like you're animated and you're making a call, but like you're throwing in some jokes in there. You're, you're pretty funny too, you know, and, and keep it light. I'm like, oh, I'm a funny, you know, I'm a funny guy, you know. It's, <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm always sure. joking around. You know, I can be very serious when, when I need to be and very locked in, but, uh, you know, you got to be joking around because, you know, if you're doing a call and, and you're just strictly serious, and exactly. Business, exactly. it's not going to be good. You know, it's going to be sound. You know, when you're real serious, you'd be like, uh, Griffin down court, Griffin pass, Griffin get ball back, Griffin pass, Cliff dunk, score. Like, it's robotic, and, and it's not fun. But, you know, if you can be animated and, and joking around, it's good. And, 
you know, you, you talk of, you just mentioned nationally, you know, but I, I always dreamed of, yeah, not just nationally, but I like the lo the local, um, mm -hmm. you know, we, I feel very blessed to go up in this area, um, in New, New York, we have New York sports teams because that means I get to listen to some of the best of the best right. for every single home game and every single sure. away game, not just football, like, because football is separate with, uh, you know, radio, we got some really good people, but TV is obviously always rotating, but right. if you ever, with, um, I know not everybody's a Met fan, but if you have time, you go on YouTube because there's a Gary, Keith, and Ron, and they got hour-long compilations of, of those three, and it's hysterical, and the storytelling is spectacular, and they're always joking and poking fun at each other, and I grew up watching, I'm like, that's what I want to do. You know, you're a Nets fan on us, right? Yeah. Oh, I, yeah. Iron Eagle, right? Yep. I mean, he's, he's the, the absolute best. 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 Yeah. And, but he's always joking with Sarah Kustak. So when they have Richard Jefferson on, forget it. When they mm -hmm. have Richard Jefferson on, I mean, it's... Oh, yeah. It's great. It's a comedy hour. and It is. And I try it's to bring just, that... Yeah. And, and I want to bring that into, into what I do as well because it's not just about the game, but especially when you're doing radio, it's about painting that picture. Mm -hmm. you know, when you do TV, it's a bit different. They can also see it. At least the assumption is they can also see it. When mm -hmm. you do radio, you know for a fact they're not seeing it unless they're listening at the game, which people do, right? They put the earbuds in, they listen to radio, and they do that. Or, you know, they got on the TV and listening. But mo most of the time, you have to assume in the car or they're working or something, it's just listening. So you really got to paint that picture of what's going on. And... In order to really capture somebody into the game, just the audio of it, and post it, the visual. When there's an exciting play, visually you can see Cliff dunk on, get a putback dunk on two guys on Bryant, but also over Gavin Griffith, who's on his own team. And you can see that, and you have a good call, but again, you can see that. Well, if I say, oh, putback dunk by Cliff over three guys, it's not as fun, but if you get real animated in it, Oh, put back dunk by Cliff what a time. and you're going crazy. I mean that really enhances that experience. And then exactly. Joe joking around too. And uh and so crew obviously it's just two hours of joking. Right. <laughs> oh, yeah. you gotta be a bit more serious, but I definitely want to bring in the jokes as well. I mean, we always have those hot keys and you know, I I, I love joking and you know, again, those who know me, I'm always joking around. Mm -hmm. and, and I think you know that pretty well on our Yeah. So, uh so again, to me, it's 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 you want to joke and, and you want to have fun, and I definitely had a lot of fun. And the more I do it, the more comfortable I get. I think the more I'm going to joke around with that mm -hmm. comfortability. Exactly. Yeah. It took me a while to get comfortable. It's going to be fun, you know. <clears throat> once you once you do get comfortable, you get very very comfortable. I mean, yeah, I feel like I've kind of come out of my shell a little bit. I've gotten to you know meet some um different kinds of people, and we all get along and support each other and you know we're there for each other so it's it's cool and like you know and then this this semester with the Wednesday crew like you know it's kind of like I've kind of yeah I mean it's like the, the steps I've taken like to grow like as a you know as my personality and like on the Friday crew and the summer crew like it's starting to come together I def definitely feel like I could be like a big part of the conversation or, or lead it like we all do at different yeah, times so I mean, it's a lot I, of fun. I, I always tell the story uh you know my first time doing WRC, I was shadowing a Thursday crew uh, last, uh, I guess it was last semester, probably like early, maybe like January-ish, right? Mm -hmm. And it was just me and Alec. And I went with Alec. I knew Alec crew, I described. We were very close. You know, he's still one of my best friends. i be very sad when he graduates uh, in the spring. And I'm, I'm here two years without him because he's really, you know, one of my best friends. But, you know, go out and... and he says, sit down. I'm, I'm sitting down and, and I'm watching the board and whatever. He goes, okay, when the light goes red, the mic's on. I go, mm -hmm. huh? He goes, when the light goes red, the mic's on. I'm like, I'm talking? <laughs> He's like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, mm -hmm. I, I thought a shadow was just watch. Right. It was just me and him. Yeah. So, throwing, yeah. so he's throwing questions to me and I just got to talk off the top of my head. Right. Like, uh, uh, but I was, I had enough knowledge to where just off the top of my head, yeah, I was able to answer sufficiently and correctly, right? That's a big part. You want to be correct with what yes. you say, but able to answer right. correctly and right. give a sufficient, you know, size answer, not just a one word answer. And mm -hmm. I had a lot of fun, and but I was nervous. But I me too. Yeah. yeah. What I realized is, is, you know, after like a few minutes, I'm just like, I'm not looking at everybody. It's just a conversation with Alex. Exactly. 
that's one of my best friends. I'm just talking to one of my best friends about sports, which we do all the time anyway. And yeah. very rarely in, in the in my head do I'm like, oh, people listening right now. Like when I was calling the women's basketball game, I didn't have that thought once in my head that, oh, there's people listening to me right now. Like I knew my whole family was listening. I knew Josh's whole family was listening. I knew uh, you know, long fans are listening. I knew people who care about women's basketball listening, maybe just some random people tuning in, right? Didn't come in my head once. Mm-hmm. And to me, it's just, I'm just calling a game. I, I'm busy. I'm focused uh, on crew, talking to my friends. Even right now, people are going to listen to this. Exactly. Like, people are going to watch this. Yeah. I, I, I'm not really thinking about that right now, though. Well, maybe the second I am, because I mentioned <laughs> it, but I'm, yeah. I'm just having a conversation with you. I feel you. Yeah. Able to joke around and, and have fun and you know that that's I think what's really enjoyable to me is that not only am I talking sports, not only am I, you know, having cool experience, not only am I calling games and having fun and doing things that I've been wanting to do my whole life, mm-hmm. and able to joke around with it, but it doesn't feel like there's pressure to nail it. Like I, I hate doing demos because demos. Yeah, like, demos are like it. It costs me so much stress to make sure I got because, everything right. It's like yes, hard. Because, yes, because. You, you know you're going to get critiqued on it. Mm-hmm. And that's already in your mind. In your mind is, I got to get every single thing perfect because I know I'm going to be critiqued on it. And then also, you're calling a game, not all the time, most of the time, you're calling a game that you've already seen before. Yeah, like the online ones. Right? Like, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm calling a football game, a basketball game that I've seen 20 times. Yeah. So I know yeah. every little play. And if exactly. I messed up, I'm restarting. Yeah. 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 And so I know it. Not only do I already know it, but it's so recent in my head, I can literally dictate everything. And yeah. there's so much pressure going on. You're calling a live game. You're just telling a story. You're just literally describing what yeah. you see and, and storytelling and joking around. And there's no pressure. There's really no pressure in my mind on how I feel. And that's been really enjoyable. You know, I love that feeling of, you know, pressure makes diamonds, right? And, and I think you need pressure at times. Mm-hmm. But other times... <laughs> Just to, just a call, you know. If it's a big game, right? You want to have some pressure or a big yeah. moment. Maybe you should feel some pressure to really do well. But I also think there is something to just being comfortable. Right? And I've been very comfortable, and uh, you know, I enjoy that comfortability, and I enjoy joking around. Like I said, a bunch of yeah. times. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Yeah. And it really has been a lot more fun than I could have even predicted. You know, is I. Same. You know, yeah. It, it's been it's been a blessing to be here and i'm so grateful that i got in early so i have you know at, at rest of my sophomore year and then and then junior and senior year. so i still have a lot of time here i mean it's gonna go by fast but mm-hmm. I still have a lot of time here and definitely looking forward to you know more calls and things like that in the future more crew and definitely meeting more people i've met some very you know pe- cool people at rsu people that i've become very close friends with and uh you know yeah. it, it's just been a lot of fun yeah no yeah i agree with with like a lot of that with all of that really i mean it's has been a lot of fun i've met a lot of great people i've made a lot of friends um crew has been fun you know calling my first game that was cool i'm in different sports so i've done women's basketball i've done wrestling i've done football um spring game which you were part of and then yeah, the regular that, season that ohio that state game yeah it was um that was, that was the only yeah. time i felt nervous that one was a little bit nerve wracking because I was like, our all, I guess probably all for like first time. I think except for Alex, so it was like, yeah. It was all the was... first times doing football. I've never done a demo before in any sport. Yeah, that was my first football demo. It was my too, first so. demo. It was my first demo in any sport. And usually demo, you go, you record on your phone, you play, it's dumb. That was mm-hmm. my first demo in any single sport, and it was live on air. Yeah, and a lot of people were listening. Yeah, and I went first. Mm. But so I was nervous, but again, after two, three plays, I, I was comfortable just doing color commentary for Alex. No, I was comfortable. Exactly. And then play by play took over. Was, I'm just doing play by play, and, and Jess is my color, and, and she's great at what she does, and I trust her, and I know that she's going to nail it. And you know, so I'm doing play by play, and that's exactly what happened. She nailed it. And it flowed right. really well. And it, it went from, yeah, it kept going then. Jess, Joe, me, like we we all kind of like did our, our thing, and it was mm-hmm. it was a good experience. It was cool, like it was because it was five people, and then you know then doing it for real, like months later with like Ohio State, like was that was a that was a huge one because that was like a real yeah. big game, like as, as yeah, already mentioned. Talk about so, it again. Talk about yeah. a big game. Uh, number one team in the country. Oh yeah, leading okay. at halftime, they're probably 
the biggest crowd at SHI all year. Definitely the most people listening on the radio. I mean, that was uh, that was pretty cool, man. That's a great it, experience. It have. really was, yeah, yeah. For, for that being my first time. And then, um, yeah, and I'm, I'm actually going to do my first men's basketball game, um, late, um, I guess next month, um, December, I think December 16th against Long Island. So that'll be cool because they've done a women's game and now I'll get to do a men's game. Obviously, I, I'm pretty familiar with both teams now, but, you know, the men's team, that's, that's very exciting. Like, we all, we all follow both teams, but I mean, you know, the energy of the building is going to be flowing. I mean, obviously, it's not the biggest of matchups of the month, but still, you know, it's still an exciting game and it's, Don't you know, a big opportunity. The LIU Sharks now on us. Don't under- LIU I Sharks. You what, I've been on Long Island. And they have a basketball hoop in almost every drive one. Hmm. So they love basketball on Long Island. Don't uh, don't underestimate. They love hockey too. Big, big gotcha. they, love the they love the Islanders. They love their baseball. Yeah, oh, definitely. A good, good basketball out in Long Island, and uh, you know everybody yeah. everybody knows what's gonna happen in that game. But uh, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's still, still, you know, you don't take it with a uh, grain of salt. You know, oh, no, definitely not. Uh, people will be listening. And yep. well, I'm holding women's game in uh, December 16th. Kids are still on campus before break. So yeah, last game before I'm sure break. a lot of people will still be there for now. Kids, yeah, kids are probably going to be like, you know what? It's right before break. So let me try to get to one last game if in case I can't go over break, right? So exactly. Um, yeah, that is uh, be getting ready for finals the next day. So uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll yeah. See, but uh, I'm excited for that game. I've marked my calendar. It'll be fun. Gotcha. Yeah. So yeah, hopefully um. You know, you know, be there with the with the riot squad, and then you know, we'll be, be, there. We'll, we'll be there. We've been at uh every every game except the Howard game. Hmm. Nice, uh, we, yeah. We couldn't go because we were at Penn State for the football game. Um, right, right, right. Makes sense. I was yeah. a bit disappointed. Uh, I wanted to go to both. I thought it would have been so cool if we could went to both. If only that game was at eight o'clock. We would have been to both because I was at the rack at eight o'clock. Um, did could couldn't go in the game. Obviously, the game was like a minute thirty left when I got there. I just went to go say say hi to some people after the game. Um, but no, I mean, that would have been electric to go to football game at Penn State and then basketball home, but we will be there December 16th on campus. We'll be there. You know, it's, uh, we have a saying any game, anytime, anywhere. Yeah. Um, you know, it's always been true, but this year, especially we've really, uh, gotten some national attention, made it true. Uh, you know, the first home game versus on CBS, they said Riot Squad and we're like, oh, like not student section, riot squad. Or like, yeah. Mm-hmm. We saw the clips and we said riot squad. We're like, oh my, oh my god. Like people know who we are. Like that's crazy. Like that's actually wild. And then the following game, riot squad. The following game, riot squad. Like okay, people say right. riot squad a lot. Yeah. And then um, you know, I, I and then when we went out to Indiana, when we clinched the bowl again. Yeah. Showed us right on TV. Oh, look, a lot of other students made it. I don't know if they mentioned Riot Squad or not, but I know we got TV time and that made some big headlines. And then, uh, you know, Coach Pike will always, and, and Coach Coquis always say uh, Riot Squad. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool to, to be acknowledged like that, not just student section, but Riot Squad specifically, because it really means we're doing something great here, you know. Really? I mean, Coach, yeah. Coach, Coach Goodell for wrestling tweeted at us, at Riot Squad, better be there for the Virginia Tech match. And we said, you know, we answered, you know, any game, any time, anywhere, and we answered. Yeah, you know? no, I love it. Be called out like that and to be noticed is on national television mentioned like that and, and people take notice is pretty cool. People took a lot of notice us after that Georgetown game. That was definitely uh this uh was that like two weeks ago? Something like that. Yeah. People were really taking notice to that, um, which is really cool. Um definitely the loudest it's been all year, maybe not the loudest I've heard it, maybe top ten loudest I've heard it. Probably not top five, but top ten. But in terms of rowdiness, it was top five. I mean, we were really on the players. You we were really on the coaching staff the whole game. Like especially the uh, Georgetown strength and conditioning coach Kenneth White. Uh, we really gave it to him good. So you know, it, it's a lot of fun to be out there with them, and it's also a much different experience in RSU. You know, in RSU, I'm a member of the media, and while we are Rutgers Radio, and we can be a bit Rutgers biased. We still have to be pretty neutral for the most part. And yeah. we can't say everything we want to say. Yeah. And yeah. our job is just to call a game. Right. With the Riot Squad, our job is to 
make it as hostile as humanly possible and bring as much noise as humanly possible. And me specifically, my job is, well, I got to start some chants. You know, mm-hmm. you can, when it's quiet in the rack, you can hear my voice specifically loud as day, start a let's go ruckus chant or defense or Love just that. start yelling O oh, or something like that, you know, make noise. And, uh, you know, so I start a lot of chants at football games, at basketball games. And, and that's also pretty cool. Oh, um, yeah. Mm-hmm. To, to be one of like the three the leaders guys, yeah one of the three guys who have a loud enough voice who can just start chants and everybody joins in like that i mean much different role and, it, and it's good and you know both are pretty vastly different and uh right you know what well, you know maybe screaming at the top of my lungs and losing my voice isn't helpful for my radio career but uh <laughs> you know I'm, I'm gonna do it and, and it's fun and you know again i have people that have been in the riot squad i'm so fortunate you know i've met my best friends there you know people i talk to all the time people that are like me but more specific more specifically just people i genuinely care about and see each other all the time and talk to and people that i'll be close with for the rest of my life and i mean that that's pretty cool there's a there's a picture of me me alec a video too actually me alec and um the president of the riot squad frankie saracino um out in Indiana when, when Clinton Bowl game, the three of us have been watching Rutgers longer than I'd say 97% of the Rutgers student body. You know, we've just been watching our entire lives and mm-hmm. we've seen every single loss over the last, you know, 10 years, every single bad game, every single blowout, whether it was 56 to nothing, 56 to three, 78 to nothing. 63 to set, oh, like whatever. Man. There's been some tough ones in there. There's been some real tough ones, man. And yeah. To be on the road in Indiana and make a bowl game, you know, the video is, uh, you know, nobody was crying. And until we all looked at each other and started hugging, and then people started getting teary eyed. And there's one, I mean, I just, you know, look at Alec and just me throw my arms up. And me and Crouton just hug hard. And then, next, you know, Frankie comes running in and he jumps on us. And the three of us are just, Hugging, oh, hugging and crying in tears of joy and just like it was such a magical like moment. we made it yeah. yeah that's something i'll remember for such a long time it was with two of my best friends on the road road trip to indiana hugging i mean i got my crutches it doesn't matter it was just crying i mean it was it, it's such a crazy memory I'll, I'll definitely remember that one first in my life it was pretty pretty magical uh once in a lifetime experience for sure yeah, no, it, it definitely sounds sounded like you you had a good time, and um, it kind of it, it, like I, I I think I said this on crew, but I mean it, it kind of reminded me because the band went to Indiana um, two seasons ago, and mm-hmm. we, there was a big win mm-hmm. and a lot of the same kind of bonding and you know all of that kind of took place and um yeah and the marching band like you know I've been I was I was a part of it for two years before I kind of switched over to radio full time and now they they're in the Macy's so, they were in the Macy's parade this Thursday and it was a really were, cool experience you know. Was such a cool moment for, to watch uh my best friend at Rutgers is in the band and to see her perform is was like crazy and just so happy for her and everybody in the band is like such a like cool experience like everybody goes up watching the Macy's Thanksgiving I know yeah. yeah yeah just it, it's so iconic mm-hmm. and then I know they had some alumni back on us I I know they asked you and you uh respectfully declined the invite back to the band because you're too much of a VIP now. You can't have you march in the streets of uh, New York City on Thursday. Um, yeah, it was kind of like, yeah, because I kind of like left kind of by choice. I didn't really, you know, feel like kind of pushing my case on that. And, uh, you know, well, it was kind of uh, one of those well, things. Because I wasn't they're going, really an alumni. They're going, but... they're going to London next year. So maybe you'll, uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll consider it back a little bit. Uh, I'll consider that. Yeah. We'll find your way back a bit. Uh, you, you, are, um, you're a percussionist. Yes. Yes. Uh huh. Cool. I played um synthesizer in the front ensemble. Um, you know the group that we um play on the front sideline. We don't march, but it's a lot of fun. Like our like our section is also like kind of like very tight because you know we all we spend a lot of time just us like kind of away from the band like practicing and moving stuff. It's it's a pain, but it's it's it was it was it was really a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. Um, I mean, it uh, really, yeah. I, I I have a lot of sex with band. Uh, mm-hmm. you know I think what they do is great. I think that. You know, there's a few things that make up college sports, but band one thing, one thing yeah, yeah. the band. 
the band makes college sports so different. Because we think of college sports, you know, one you think of two things immediately. You think of the students, you think of the band. Yep. And that's not in any particular order, right? They're both coincide. They're both, they, they both support each other. Like the energy the band feeds off of with the student section and like, you know, the cheer and dance team, like we all feed off each other's energy. Like you guys yeah. getting loud helps the band get loud. The band getting loud helps the rest of the students get loud, which helps the rest of the team get loud. Like it all, like it all works together. So it's the only, the only, the only time we're not on the same page is uh, when the students like to use colorful language. Um, the band, yeah, the, the band's band not allowed to do that. Band and cheer can't participate, but in terms of just yeah. yelling noise and mm -hmm. chanting, yeah, we feed off each other because everybody's competitive deep down, and you know the band wants to be the loudest. Well, the riot squad wants to be the loudest. All right. The cheer team wants to be loud, but they know they're not going to be the loudest because they're not as big. But it, it, it's kind of like, oh, okay, we're going to be the loudest in the front row. Well, band wants to be louder, but we're going to be louder. And especially at basketball, they really feed off each other. And yeah, like, and then the energy gets all trapped in that building. So. Yeah, I mean, that, that's such a cool experience for the band. I mean, they've been making Rutgers proud. Like, right? they call them the pride of New Jersey, the pride of yeah. Rutgers. Yeah. It can't be more true. I mean, to represent us on the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, that's such a high honor to represent us in, in London. Not just represent us, but represent the entire country of the united states of america in london next year i know that is, is such an honor like i still haven't fully wrapped my head around that yet and that's so cool and off note quickly because the band is a part of athletics and the riot squad does support all athletics mm -hmm. i'm expecting the school to take the riot squad to support wow. the band in london in london because we wow. support all athletics and the band yep. is an athletic it's, team. It's, we gotta, that's so true. we gotta support them you know what i mean <laughs> you know we gotta go support them um sure. you know back on top you know back on topic i mean they, they're doing a great job representing us and you know you, when the band's doing their job like that and the riot squad's getting mentioned by name on national tv and we're going on the road and we're making and we're getting on tv we're getting a lot of tv time on the road i mean that's oh, yeah. because that just means that everybody is clicking on all cylinders and we're doing a great job representing this wonderful university you know, everybody likes to, you know, talk down upon towards Rutgers for no reason except for the fact that, yeah, we've had our struggles in football and, yeah, we've had our struggles in other sports, but this is a different time now. Right? We've made a bowl game and it's not a fluke. Basketball is a really good team and we're getting really good recruits and we're only going to keep building on that and that's not a fluke. And every other sport's really good and that's not a fluke. And eventually the narrative has to change and the band start really helping that. Well, oh my, Ruck, Ruckers is on the parade? How did Ruckers get the parade? That's New Jersey. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, people don't even know where Ruckers is. When people don't know where Ruckers is. They're like, where's Ruckers? They're like, oh, New Jersey. Now I know. Or just like, like, um, how, how are they there? Like, that's, wow, maybe Ruckers isn't as bad as we thought. Yeah. Going, to, going to London good for, for a going while. To London. I mean, that's that's crazy. They're going to London now, right? Yeah. And, and these these students are in Indiana, cheering. Mm -hmm. well, what's going on at Rutgers right now? It's not just on the field; it's off the field. Everything is changing, and yeah, it's all heading in the right direction. And it, it's a great time. I said it. You know, this is a spectacular time. I don't think there's ever been a better time to be a Rutgers student. You got a football team in a bowl game. You got. A really good basketball team that's only going to get better. You got a really good women's basketball team that's only going to get better. Some of the best wrestling, you know, field hockey was really, really good this year. Soccer, both men's and women's, was really, really good this year. Volleyball has been getting better. The band is doing things that have never been done before. Mm -hmm. Rod Squad is taking what it means to be a student section to the whole new level, whether it's with the signs we have in front, whether it's with going in members road trips getting mentioned on TV like that. I mean, it's just, right. It's, it's really building. There's never been a better time to be a Rutgers student before to be a Rutgers fan before. I mean, that's mm, sincere. I agree. I'm super excited that I am involved, not just as a student, and but in the riot squad and with the radio and that I'm able to, you know, be a part of it with the riot squad and help plan things that have never been done before. Again, like a road trip to Indiana, Mm -hmm. took 15 kids halfway across the country like that's never been done before and other schools don't do that maybe a few students go but you're not taking 15 kids sitting in the right. first row 
and being the loudest in the stadium, being so loud that U15 are outweighing the noise of an entire road stadium, going to Penn State, going to sit courtside at Madison Square Garden, going to sit courtside in, in Trenton against Princeton, going to all these other games. Like We're doing things that haven't been done before. And I'm able to be a part of it and plan it. And then on the flip side with radio, I'm able to not only talk about it more on a deeper level, but I'm also able to talk about the Riot Squad more. Because I don't just talk sports. Right? I always try to mention the Riot Squad more because I'm trying to build that brand. You know, it's not that I'm getting paid for it. I'm doing it because I'm part of it and I love it. Yeah. And it means so much to me, you know. I'm, And so I'm talk about that and, and raise the awareness and promote it. And then also talk about things like the band and promote the band because most people don't know that what, what goes on in the band. And I don't know if you know this, Y'all practice hard, oh, man. You guys have it's crazy. Two hours, it's all, it's, two hour practices, mm-hmm. three times, times a week. week, all day. Game day Saturday doesn't and, um, matter if for a few hours before um rain. the game starts. Yeah, you guys are six hours before the game starts. Doesn't matter if it's cold, if it's yeah. rainy, if it's snowy, windy. A well, long hard summer practices but, yeah, too. Hundred degrees. You guys got band camp, which is like a ten hour day in the sun, yeah. blazing heat. You guys put a lot of work in and a lot of work. A lot of work goes about in. when people think about like football, basketball. Right. Like, yeah, you know, you put the work in, but nobody's even thinking about put the band putting people like, yeah, they, they, it's a band, like they practice, but who, like, you know, who cares? But, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, the music, play the music, walk around, but like to learn how to walk, how to and, do all of that, walk and yeah, play at the same like, time. You know, like, I mean, I can't even really speak on that because I never was part of that part but i mean just you know, doing you, that you were lucky you only, music have, you only and... had one dot and you just stayed on your dot yeah exactly you have to focalize That's... yeah it was funny because like our you section we do anything like we'd that. mock you like just... the rest like we like watch would there be parts where we saw the rest of the band like walking to their dots and like kind of walking one foot in front of the other and we kind of like get up and do that but i mean just to kind of be funny but like you know it's kind of part of the whole thing inside yeah, jokes yeah. i mean you, you, like that. Dot, you, just, you didn't have to worry about hitting your dot you didn't have to worry about yeah know, we didn't have to worry about that we had other problems you know, like you didn't have to worry about focalizing we had know, to sure yeah you're, you're right and that's right on I've you're right answer, yeah you know, yeah, yeah you're, you're speaking band. our language with the, with the I, I, and... I know my band terms yes I, sir man. I, yeah I have the uh-huh. best teacher in all band vocabulary to ever walk foot on the planet but i I know all my band terms you know i know i know everything so uh <laughs> and just the you know the more i learned to uh you know in terms of uh you got your steps got to be right you know you got to turn at the hips and always you know you're walking this way but you always got to play this way and you gotta yeah the hips and, and you got to know when you're you know turning around and things like that it's there's a lot of work that goes into being in the band and yeah. uh, you know it's because it's a lot of work well you know it's it's not really greatly appreciated and uh yeah you know uh, dr dr bomanis uh, Todd Nichols, because Carrie, mm-hmm. all those guys, you know, yeah. put in put in a lot of work for this band. That's and, fact. Yeah. And, and all the members of the band, every section, low brass, percussion, piccolos, uh I'm sh- tubas, right? That's low brass. Yeah. Uh, said um, that. Yeah. Uh, said that, right? Wood uh wins uh everybody puts in a lot of work. And um, you know, for them to be recognized at this level is great because people don't really think about the work they put in. And they really add so much to the game day experience. It would not be the same. I know. It really wouldn't. It really wouldn't. And, and yeah. You know, and, and people are starting to take notice of, of the work they do and how they take notice well to take notice because of opportunities like playing in Macy's, playing, you know, in yeah. London. You know, these are opportunities that should not happen to for bands and we're getting right. opportunities exactly at Rutgers and because people are noticing the work and also it's a non um you have to try out. It's an open band, right? A lot of the other schools, they have small bands and you gotta try out. Mm-hmm. And if you don't make it, well tough luck. But at Rutgers, you yeah. have to try out. And anyone who wants to be part of anybody the wants to be in, they will get part. you to the level that you need to be in to be in a college marching band. And we have around three hundred fifty members. Yeah. It's huge. It's band. A, yeah, it's a mm-hmm. huge band and I love it. I love the size, I Me love too. the sound. It's great. So much Absolutely. More. It's amazing. It's fantastic. And, and people noticing what the riot squad's doing with the banners, with the noise being mentioned. 
when you got those two things being talked about and being mentioned and, and people are starting to be like, oh, wait, I see what's going on here. This is special. It only adds to that on the field production or on the court production. And, mm -hmm. and it really is amazing, you know, and, uh, you know, I, I think that band gets a bad rap in high school. Definitely. Um, yeah. But in college, it's, it's like so much cooler almost. Yeah, it is yeah. cool. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I just remember, uh, you know, when I found out one of my friends was in the band, I'm like, that, that's so cool. I've never said the words being in the band is so cool before. Unless it was like a rock band, you know, like, right, right. yeah, like, oh, in the watch, man, that's sick. Like, people genuinely love the bands at colleges, and and I always grew up watching rockers, and I never left my seat at halftime because I always wanted to watch the marching band, yeah. And and now it's, it's still the same, I don't leave my seat because I want to watch the marching band because it's so cool. Like, in high yeah. school, I didn't care, I was like, yeah, kind of like it's off the it. field. I don't like these kids. They're weirdos. Get them out of here. They're, they're all just like, no, just get back to football. Right. But in college, college it's like, like, we love the band. Like, everybody, everybody loves the band. And it's not like, just, yeah. I don't know what it is, but that, that flip switch and, mm -hmm. it's great and, you know, it really is. You know, unfortunate you couldn't uh, continue with the band, but maybe, maybe next year you'll circle back to the band with RSU. Maybe you could do an RSU report about maybe. the band. In London, while you're performing, potentially, now, I think that would be really cool. That would be that really would be, cool. That's yeah, the thing smooth, I have to consider. And that's smooth. You gotta, you gotta write that down in the notebook. Yeah, man. Well, yeah, it's been good having you on. I mean, if you want, we can come back with you know some more, some more sports stuff. But you know, it's been um, I guess it's been part one of the third episode of just vibing. So I'll, we'll see you in a bit. All right, sounds good.